What's up my friends, Paul Richards here from PTZ Optics and in this video we're going to show you how to control a PTZ camera with vMix. In order to follow along you will need a PTZ camera, a copy of vMix, a Windows computer, and a local area network to connect your PTZ camera to vMix. With that being said, we'll also show you three different ways to control PTZ cameras. One is over the network, the second is over a USB connection, and then the third is actually the virtual pan, tilt, zoom options in vMix as well. Let's get started. So vMix can control PTZ cameras in multiple different ways. Now the back of this PTZ Optics camera is showing you an Ethernet connection. So you can power the camera over Ethernet, you can control the camera over Ethernet. That means that you will need an IP address in order to connect the camera to vMix. And we'll show you how to do that in this video. Now, PTZ Optics has two different kinds of Ethernet connected live streaming and broadcast cameras. One is the traditional PTZ pan tilt zoom cameras. The other is actually what we call Z cams. And v vMix does support zoom for our Z cam camera model. So we'll look at that as well. Now, there's also USB connected webcams that can, can be controlled over USB, it's, it's a protocol called UVC, and you can take pan, tilt, zoom control over PTZ Optics USB pan, tilt, zoom cameras, and also cameras like this Huddle Cam HD Pro in vMix. And again, the final way to do PTZ control is called virtual PTZ control, and we're gonna show that with this Huddle Cam HD Pro using an HDMI connection to our computer, which has a 4K Black Magic PCIe graphics card, sorry, not graphics card, uh, video PCI input card that is bringing 4K video into vMix, and we can virtually pan, tilt, zoom in that. So let's take a look at it now. vMix is able to connect to PTZ cameras using a variety of methods. Today we will demonstrate an Ethernet connection, a USB connection, and a virtual PTZ camera connection. The most popular way to control PTZ cameras with vMix is over an Ethernet connection. But USB cameras like the HuddleCam HD Pro and the PTZ Optics USB camera models can be controlled over a single USB connection. Finally, high resolution cameras like the HuddleCam HD Pro with a 4K video output can also be used for virtual PTZ controls inside of vMix. Let's start with Ethernet controls. First of all, you will need to have your computer connected to the same network as your PTZ camera. You will also need to know your camera's IP address. PTZ Optics cameras, for example, can receive an IP address in two ways. One is a statically assigned IP address, where you manually give the camera an IP address on your local area network. The other way is via DHCP. DHCP allows your camera to automatically receive an IP address from your network's router. You should refer to the PTZ Optics SDI or NDI camera setup videos to learn more about setting up your camera's IP address, which is necessary for Ethernet camera controls inside of vMix. Note, your camera and your computer need to be on the same IP range. You can find the IP address of your computer by using command prompt and typing in IP config. Look for your IPv4 IP address. Make sure your camera's IP address is on the same IP range, which means the first three sets of numbers in the IP address are the same, and the last number is unique. Once you have your camera's IP address all set up, you can control your camera inside of vMix. Let's start by adding your camera into vMix as an input. Click the Input button and select Camera. If you have an NDI camera, you can click the NDI tab and choose your camera from the list. Select your camera from the list and click OK. Once your camera is inside of vMix, you can click the Settings cog to find the PTZ section. Inside the PTZ tab section, you will see a device type drop-down menu. There are two different options for PTZ Optics cameras. 
you can select PTZ Optics Visca UDP to control any PTZ Optics PTZ camera or PTZ Optics Z Cam to control one of our Z Cam models. Note, Z Cam models do not offer pan and tilt, but vMix can control camera presets and zoom in and out controls. Once you select PTZ Optics Visca UDP from the drop down menu, you can enter your camera's IP address and press connect. Once you have done this, you will gain pan, tilt, and zoom controls of your PTZ camera. You will notice two control bars, which allow you to select the speed of your pan, tilt, and zoom. There is also a slider designated to control the speed at which your camera moves in between camera presets. This is ideal for adjusting the way the camera will move and perform slow moving scenes that sweep across an area or quick movements that are hidden from viewers while the camera is still in preview. You should also notice a create input at this position button at the top right of the input setting window. You can click this button to create a PTZ preset inside of vMix. When you click this button, vMix will create a new input inside your vMix production. When you use this input, the camera will automatically recall the camera's PTZ preset information that you have stored. You can also update this information as needed. You will notice that vMix takes a screenshot of the camera's position when saving a preset inside of vMix. In this way, you can recall PTZ presets with a visual aid that is inside each thumbnail. The idea for professional productions is that when you use one of the PTZ presets in the preview window, the location of the PTZ preset moves. In this way, you can hide the PTZ movements from your audience if you would like to. It's worth noting that PTZ camera controls are also available via vMix shortcuts. Therefore, you can control PTZ optics cameras in a variety of ways using hardware solutions that integrate with vMix. For example, you can use the Elgato Stream Deck, an X-Keys controller, or even a USB-connected Xbox controller. You can learn more about vMix shortcuts in the video that we have linked below. You can also use any touchscreen controller or computer on your local area network with a vMix web controller using a web browser to operate vMix remotely. In the settings area of vMix, there is a tab for web controller. The IP address here can be used in any web browser to operate vMix and even call presets for PTZ cameras. We do this in our live show all the time. Now that we have shown some great ways to control the camera via ethernet, let's demonstrate how you can control a USB camera using the UVC option. This way of controlling USB cameras could not be easier. Simply bring your camera into vMix using the camera input. Then inside the settings window in the PTZ section, choose UVC PTZ and click connect. Wow, it's that easy. Now you can operate PTZ camera control function inside any PTZ optics or Huddlecam HD camera that's connected via USB. Other cameras work as well. Finally, let's take a look at the virtual PTZ options with a camera such as the Huddlecam HD Pro. This is a 4K camera. We are also using a 4K Blackmagic HDMI capture card in order to bring the video into vMix. Once this input is inside of vMix, in the settings window, in the PTZ tab, we can select virtual PTZ and also choose a zoom limit. Once you press connect, you can now operate the digital pan, tilt, and zoom controls inside of vMix. You can set presets and check this out. Try the merge function in between two digital presets. It almost looks like a real PTZ camera. Okay, well that's it. That is how you can control your pan, tilt, zoom cameras inside of vMix. 
And don't forget, you don't become an ex a video production expert overnight. So hit that subscribe button. Let us know if you're having any comments below. I personally do still check the comments and I wanna hear from you guys. By the way, we've got a great Facebook user group so you can see what other PTZ Optics customers are doing all around the world. It's at facebook.com slash groups slash PTZ Optics Pals and the link is below. Join the group, learn more, subscribe and we can all become great video production experts together. It takes some time so subscribing helps you we always put post great videos like this thanks guys take care bye